Hi guys, hello, welcome to my channel. August is coming to a close, so that means it is time to pick our September TBR with the help of our TBR prompt jar. <laughs> and hopefully going into September, we actually read a lot more. I just realized a couple of days ago that I only read four books in August. I typically read like seven to nine books a month. So yeah, that's like half of what I typically read. So here's to hoping that we have a more fruitful reading month in September. I always feel like I dig to the bottom for these, so I'm just gonna pick one off the top. This one? <laughs> I'm always like so nervous. Okay, so here we have a green prompt, which are basically our regular regular prompts. If this is the first TBR jar of mine that you're seeing, each color in the jar does mean something different. Basically we have the green ones, which are regular ones. We have blue ones, which are specific book titles of like my oldest books on my TBR. And then we have these orange ones, which are kind of like my bad prompts. But the last couple of times I picked one of those, it's actually worked out really well. So they're not necessarily like bad, bad, but you'll see if I pick one. And then last but not least, we have these purple ones, which are basically kind of like what I call active prompts. Essentially, I need my phone, a person, my pet, or I need to like go somewhere to complete the prompt. So those ones are kind of like more like little games and they're really fun. But like I said, our first one is this green one. So let's see what she says. This one will be fun to pick. This one says a spicy book, which spicy books are some of my favorites. So let's see what we have. Okay, right off the bat, we have Rhapsodic. I'm pretty sure this is a spicy book. Ooh, okay, we, we might actually not have as many spicy books as I originally thought. <laughs> oh, we have The Veiled Kingdom. And I'm honestly kind of leaning towards this one a little bit more than this one. So we're gonna put this one back. We also have The Serpent and the Wings of Night. I think this has spice in it, but I'm not. 100% sure. <laughs> We're gonna go with this one. Again, this is The Veiled Kingdom by Holly Brene. I don't actually know what this one is about exactly, but I follow this author on Instagram and she's always posting like uh, reels of quotes and stuff from her books. And this one's got a couple of really good ones. So I'm very excited about it. It says, fleeing my father's cruelty, the wicked king who robbed me of a future. I face death in the streets, caught between a rebellion and a tyrant's reign. Captured by those sworn to kill me, the rebels remain blind to my true identity, the missing daughter of the despised king. Faced with an impossible choice, I stand before them, join the rebels, or face their blades. And then there's more to the synopsis, but essentially that's kind of like the setup of it. And the son of the rebellion uh, commander is the love interest for this. So I think this will be a good time. So that is the first book on our September TBR. Let's pick our second, give us a little bit of a shuffle. And then we're gonna dig down a little bit and pick this one. Oh no. This one is an orange prompt, which like I said, is kind of our bad prompts. Let's see what she says. Okay, okay. <laughs> this one says, a book with an ugly cover. I'm a really big cover person. So the majority of the books that I do own, I do like the covers of. So this one actually might be kind of hard. Actually, you know what? The Deep by Nick Cutter. This one's not necessarily like an ugly cover, but it is very plain, literally. This book and this book and this book I bought purely because I loved the covers of them. So those are definitely not gonna be it. <laughs> Love the cover. This one's got a cool cover. Got this one as well because of the cover. <laughs> These two don't have like my favorite. I actually don't like the cover of this one at all. This is a book of the month book. This one is the London Seance Society. Kevin's actually already read this one and he really enjoyed it. So this could be fun. Then we also have this one, Home Before Dark by Riley Sager. I definitely am getting into the season of wanting to read some Riley Sager. So. This could be an option. These are all books that I got for the cover. This one's not like my most favorite cover, but like the metallic makes it really cool. So that's definitely can't be an option. <laughs> Serpent and the Wings of Night. I also don't really like the cover of this. I just really wanted these books because, <sighs> okay, never mind. How have I had this for this long and didn't realize that this was underneath this freaking dust jacket? Okay, well this definitely can't count because that is so cool. <laughs> So that being said, these are gonna be our options. Uh, again, we have Home Before Dark, which I think is about like a haunted house, which could be cool, but also maybe this would be better for more of like October. And then we also have, again, the London Seance Society. This one takes place in 1873, about a seance that happens in an abandoned chateau in the outskirts of Paris, which is such a cool sounding setting. <laughs> okay, so this one, kind of like briefly scanning over the synopsis, this one also, Basically is about two women, uh, a spiritualist who is doing like the seance and then also another woman who's trying to figure out what happened to her sister who's been murdered. It says, as the women team up with the powerful men of London's exclusive seance society, so this is like a men's mystery club, 
Uh, they team up with them, it says, they begin to suspect that they are not merely out to solve a crime, but perhaps entangled in one themselves. So these two women are trying to solve a murder. These men of this society are also trying to help them, but seeming to be kind of shady. So I think I'm gonna go with the London Sand Society, purely for the fact that I've had it on my TBR much longer than The Deep. So we need to get this one off of our TBR. <laughs> Now moving on to our third prompt, we're gonna go ahead and skim the top again after I flip some of these around. Uh, let's go with this one. We got another green one. Green and purple, I'm always looking forward to. Orange and blue are always a little scary. <laughs> so this one says, a book with orange on the cover. Yes. <laughs> we are definitely 1000% going with The Midnight Feast by Lucy Foley. It's one of my most highly anticipated for this year and I'm so excited to get into it. And it definitely has orange on the cover because that's literally the only color on the cover. This is one of those murder mysteries that are like my favorite types where everyone is in one location and they're kind of trapped. A murder happens and then they're kind of like trapped there until someone figures out what happened. And this one in particular, they're at a manor that has just opened. It's a beautiful new countryside retreat. And they're gathering there for the midnight feast, which is essentially to celebrate like midsummer and things like that. So it says old friends and enemies circulate among the guests and the candles have barely been lit for a solstice supper when the body is found. It all began with a secret 15 years ago. Now the past has crashed the party and it'll end in murder at the midnight feast. Cannot wait for this. Now let's pick a different one. And again, we're gonna go to the bottom, the very, very bottom and pick this one, another green one. <laughs> Usually I have a little bit more variance in the colors. Ooh, okay. Again, this is so perfect. The glue stick that I used is definitely not holding these up very well, but this one says a Kindle book and I need to go grab my Kindle. Actually, we're not gonna grab my Kindle because it's in my bedroom and I don't feel like going all the way over there. <laughs> and frankly, I already know what book we're gonna pick because uh, I only have a few books on my Kindle. I don't have very many. And one of the books that I just recently purchased was Leather and Lark. That is another like highly anticipated for this year. So, I definitely want to read that. And I feel like September is like the perfect time. Again, kind of transitioning from, you know, summer to fall. I want to start reading kind of like creepier things. Uh, Butcher and Blackbird was basically, if you haven't read that, about two serial killers, like a romance, like a rom-com style romance between two serial killers. It was such a good time. <laughs> I read Butcher and Blackbird a while ago, so I don't remember exactly the characters, but I'm pretty sure Lark is Blackbird's like best friend. And then she's going to be having romance with the butcher's brother, I'm pretty sure. But either way, like for sure, I know that the couple in the next book is kind of like intermingled with the first couple. So I'm very, very excited to continue on with that kind of like world and very curious about what the other two characters are gonna do. I don't think that they're serial killers themselves, but I'm pretty sure that they know that the characters from the first book are. So I'm curious kind of like, how do they handle that? What are their lives like? <laughs> very curious, very excited. So our fourth book is going to be Leather and Lark by, I can't remember the author's name, but I'll have it, Bryn, Bryn Weaver? Am I correct? I don't know, we'll find out when I edit this video. <laughs> now let's go ahead and pick our fifth. I was gonna say fifth and final, cause I do feel like five is like a good amount because I am a really big mood reader and I wanna try to actually start reading the books that I pick in these TBRs. I always have like the highest of hopes, but I typically only end up on like on a good month reading like half of them. So I was thinking if I like shortened the amount, then maybe I would be more likely to read them all, but this is just so fun and I don't ever wanna stop. <laughs> so we'll pick number five first and then kind of play it by ear. All right, let's go ahead and pick this one. We've got another green one and one flew somewhere. Where'd it go? It was a purple. Should we do this one anyway? I think we're gonna do this one anyway. And I didn't pick any blue ones. I put those ones specifically in the jar so that I would read like kind of like force myself to read like my oldest books. And so far out of all of the books that I've picked the last couple of months on my TBR, I've always made sure to at least read those blue ones. So again, I think we're gonna pick these two next and then I'm gonna like force myself to pick a blue one. <laughs> so this says a book with yellow on the cover. So we're getting another color one, which is kind of funny because the first month that I did this with the new system, I got two that were color covered ones as well. So right off the bat, we have two, we've got Shit Cassandra Saw by Gwen E. Kirby. This one is basically like fictional short stories, but they have kind of like a woman empowerment kind of vibe to them. And then we have Lies Like Wildfire, which is about a murder mystery that happens during the summer where like these kids are in the forest and they accidentally start a fire. Um, and they all lie about what happened. Ooh, okay, this has like the tiniest bit of yellow. <laughs> 
but this is a new release that I just purchased. This is The Night Ends With Fire by KX Song, and this is essentially a like Mulan kind of retelling type of story. I don't know if it's specifically that, but it sounds very similar to Mulan. Yeah, again, it doesn't have like the most yellow on it, but this is such a pretty book. It's got like really cool sprayed edges. Aesthetically, this is like one of my favorite books as of recent, so I really wanna read this, but at the same time, is Mulan something that I really wanna read at the moment? I don't know. What else do we've got? We actually don't have a whole lot of yellow. I think because I already have two thrillers, I'm gonna go ahead and skip this one. And we're gonna read this, Shake Cassandra Saw. The sentence specifically on the synopsis that like really grabbed my attention says, virgins escape from being sacrificed, witches refuse to be burned, whores aren't ashamed, and every woman gets a chance to be a radioactive cockroach warrior who snaps back at catcallers. So like I said, it has like kind of a female empowerment kind of vibe and I'm intrigued. So we're gonna go with this one. Now let's go ahead and see what our purple prompt says. Okay. <laughs> So this one says Moose's pick and Moose is my dog. So he is going to pick a book for us. And here are our book options. We have Cotton Candy Massacre, which is a slasher. I have a video idea for this that I think could be really fun. And then we have Finale, which is the third and final book in the Caraval trilogy. I really need to finish this series. And then last but not least, we have Three Dark Crowns. This is a fantasy about like triplets that are fighting for the crown. And I just thought this one would be fun. <laughs> All right, we have our treats set up on the books and I think they're all pretty like equally enticing looking. So hopefully he doesn't like favor one over the other. Uh, but anyway, let's get Moose. He's over here sleeping. <laughs> what are you doing? Do you wanna help me pick a book? Do you wanna help me pick a book? Sit. You smell him? Go ahead. Oh. Okay, that's totally the one I was kind of hoping he would pick. <laughs> I was kind of thinking he would pick the middle one because it's like a different color, but he picked three dark crowns. Good job, Poop. All right, now for our final selection. Again, we are gonna pick specifically one of the blue ones and I am so nervous. I think what I'm gonna do is take all the blue ones out. So we kind of have like a, an equal opportunity to pick all of them also so I can kind of like close them up because a lot of them are like hanging open and I can kind of see what they say, you know what I mean? So I don't wanna like cheat. All right, so here's all of our blue ones and let's give this a shuffle and let's see which blue book we're gonna get. Okay, basically I got Plain Bad Heroines, uh, which is this book. It's kind of like a dark academia murder mystery type of book. It was one that I was kind of hoping to read a little bit later on in the year, like more specifically in the fall. And going into September, I do kind of want to set myself a goal to catch up on my Goodreads like as best as I can. I am currently, I think 15 books behind. Like I'm just getting more and more behind. I was gonna to try to catch up in August, but clearly that didn't happen with me only reading four books. So now we're even more behind and I don't know if adding something chunky and humongous like that is going to be helpful. We're gonna pick a different one. <laughs> Typically, I wouldn't like repick like this, but I'm the one like forcing myself to read a blue book, so I might as well pick one that I actually want to read, you know? Let's do this one. Let's <laughs> see what this one says. Curious Tides, okay. That could be a good one. This one I don't think is any less thick than the last book. And this one is also a dark academia kind of like murder mystery, but because of like the, you know, ocean on the front cover and the name of it, it kind of gives me a little bit more summer <laughs> type of vibes. We're gonna do this one. I can't keep picking, you know what I mean? Or should we pick one more? We'll pick one more and then do whichever one out of the three we wanna read. <laughs> I am cheating so much. Uh, let's pick this one. Ooh, okay, this one is Bookshops and Bone Dust. I think I might actually wanna read this one the most. This is a UK hardcover edition of this book. I ordered it off of Blackwell's a while back and I did get a signed edition, which was very exciting. I think this was the first ever signed edition of a book that I bought. And this is basically the follow-up to Legends and Lattes, but it happens before Legends and Lattes. And it says, she spends her hours at a struggling bookshop in the company of its foul mouth proprietor is the last thing Viv would have predicted, even though it may be exactly what she needs. So this one, she is a mercenary, but it takes place in a bookstore. So I feel like this one might have a little bit more action than Legends and Lattes, but also maybe not. Uh, either way, I'm intrigued, I'm excited. So 
here's your last book for our September TBR. Let's go ahead and recap our books. We have The Veiled Kingdom by Holly Renee, The London Seance Society by Sarah Penner, The Midnight Feast by Lucy Foley, Shit Cassandra Saw by Gwen E. Kirby, The Book That Moose Picks, which I have not done yet, so I don't know what it is. And then last but not least, we have Bookshops and Bone Dust. Oh, also we have Leather and Lark as well on our TBR. So yeah, we've definitely got some good books. Let me know in the comments down below what some of your most anticipated or like what you're excited to read for September. With that, that is everything that I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you have slash have had the most amazing of days and I will hopefully see you in the next one. Bye.